A little bit about Nichols Farm. We grow a green nut, and with this project, we're furthering our status, I think, as a green company. And this project will power our pasteurization, electrical, and roasting project, which we're doing concurrently, which enhances the food safety, it enhances the environment because we're not using as much natural gas, and we're, we are really growing another crop, which is electricity. What this uh, facility demonstrates and what work has, that we have done at UC Davis also uh, demonstrates is that the two could come together and sustainable agriculture is a concept that is uh, very important and has a lot of potential in terms of expanding our agricultural business at a time when we take care of our environment. The sole focus technology is interesting because it's a modular technology. You can put it in quickly and start producing power relatively easily. Um, it's also easy to permit. Um, it's scalable. Um, it goes fast. Um, and uh, for many respects, it's a perfect product for this sort of marketplace. It's very good where there's high solar insulation. Um, and it gets better and much more competitive against solar flat panel PV as the sun gets brighter. What I, I loved about the Soul Focus uh, technology is that it, it really has a light footprint. The amount of uh, impacted area in, in the whole field is, is absolutely minuscule. The, the fact that they're tracking on sun first thing in the morning and all the way to the end of the day is extract the most photons out of this uh, facility as you could and it does it in an incredibly environmentally friendly way. The CPV technology is very scalable. We can go to very small fields for off-grid applications, to these fields for specific customer applications, all the way to utility scale, much larger plants and products for, for utility customers, 20, 30, 50 megawatts and beyond. This technology is especially appropriate to become a very affordable way to bring power flexibly into our neighborhoods and into our communities. We don't have to pipe it from the desert. It can be right there, just as this project is right close to the place where the power is going to be used. The way I look at it is we're going to pay this project off in five or six years. At the same rate, we would be buying power from the grid now. After that, we'll have 19 or 20 years of just maintenance cost to produce electricity that powers about 70% of our facility.